A former international cricket umpire, Rudy Kutzen, is being laid to rest today in a small town of Dispatch in the Eastern Cape. The 73-year-old was among the fatalities in a head-on collision in Riversdale in the Western Cape on Tuesday. Uh, Kutzen was uh, travelling home from a golfing weekend in Cape Town with friends. He had umpired more than 200 one-day international games and more than 100 test matches. Live from Dispatch now with the latest on that, Narato Fekisi. Lerato, great to see you again. Uh, incredibly sad. Um, I understand that you might have a guest that you'll be speaking to about, uh, you know, this his wonderful contribution to the game of cricket. Definitely. I think Rudy Kutzen was known as the slow death. He would lift his finger slowly like this and all around the world he was known as a slow finger death because when he would say someone is out, he'd take his time and lift his finger up and he's been known in dispatch as that. So to the world, he's a world icon. Like you said earlier on, the second, second empire to officiate over 331 international matches, over 180 ODIs officiated by him. But in the small town of dispatch, he was known as Uncle Rudy, the man who would make sure that before any cricket match the pitch is clean and sound even at the age of 72 in this town they say that he'll be the first person at the pitch making sure it's crystal clear for a good cricket match and joining me this afternoon is um, Mornay Killian who is the CEO and the chairperson of the Dispatch Cricket Club where Rudy's career actually started. Mornay early on we're talking about the importance of Dispatch especially in terms of Mr. Kutsin. This is where he actually started as a cricketer and then eventually as an umpire. What do you remember him as in the small town of Dispatch. Yeah, good morning, people. Uh, on this cold and wet day here in Dispatch, and a really sad day for us. Uh, as you guys mentioned, not for cricket, uh, South Africa and the Umpire Association and so on, but for our small town and the cricket club especially. Uh, it's going to be a very, very bad and a very sad day for us. Uh, losing a legend, uh, a father figure, um, and also a groundsman uh, at this town of dispatch. You spoke about him being a groundsman, and I was saying to you, you know, we remember him as a great cricket player, as a great umpire, but you were saying the one thing that you were so particular about was that the ground must be perfect for cricket to be played on. If it's not, he's going to come really harshly on those that are taking care of the ground. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, that was his fortress. And uh, if Uncle Rudy says there's not going to be cricket matches played, they're not going to play cricket. You can make and you can do whatever you want. He's not going to allow, if the pitch is not ready, like he wanted to be, uh, then there won't be any cricket matches played on that field. Uh, yeah, and that was, as I said, that was, that was he, he, he loved it. He loved it to be there and to be proud. And... Uh, the people must come and make a turn. We will welcome the people to come make a turn there by the club so they can see for themselves how the pitches look like and how did he prepare it. Uh, as I said, yeah, that was, that was his passion. Then lastly, morning you spoke about when you said that um, there will never be another Rudy Kurt, so no one can replace him. And you're seeing it because of the mentorship role he had. It was very particular about mentoring and making sure that even past his time, there will be other Rudy Kurtz and who follow in his footsteps. How passionate was he about making sure that he takes you under his belt and teaches you in and outs of club cricket and also making sure the ground is also kept clean? Yeah, you see, uh, Uncle Rudy was unique and uh, there's not going to be somebody that will fall ever his, his boots here by this club and uh, he was he had a passion and that love for the game not by umpiring itself even for the way he took care of the pitches and he looked after our people uh, our players know and uh, I'm going to say this in Afrikaans he was a brombier he didn't like what's happening on the pitch and we couldn't perform as he would like us to do. He would always give a comment and always get the guys on the side and have a chat to them and try to make them positive again when, when the stuff was difficult to handle outside and so on. And that was Uncle Rudy. And uh, even if he's not busy preparing the pitches, he was there by the club uh, helping the guys, the youngsters that was coming through. From school level, they are coming to our club playing matches there with our adults and the, the, the seniors. So yeah, and he was involved with that as well. Yeah.
Well, that was Monique Killian, the chairperson of the Dispatch Cricket Club. And like you can hear him saying, always referring to him as Uncle Rudy. Like I was saying earlier on, he's known as an international icon. He's done so much for the game of cricket. But in the small town of Dispatch, he's going to be remembered as Uncle Rudy. And Monet just saying that uh, two, sh two bigger shoes to fill and that there will be no one else can, can fill his shoes because there can only be one Uncle Rudy, one man who is passionate about the game of cricket and also making sure that he mentors and grooms upcoming cricket men as well in this in the sector for now let's go back to the studio